morning, growing concerns about vaccination requirements as 20,000 migrant children get ready to enter the New York City public school system. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is outside the Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown this morning. Tom. Right, and Joe, this is an important intake center for so many migrants coming into New York City for families, a place for them to seek shelter, for them to get food, humanitarian aid, and vaccines. And it's concerned about that relaxed vaccination policy at New York City Public Schools as we head into the start of a new school year that's rising among some quarters uh, across the five boroughs this morning. It, among the people most concerned, Staten Island Borough President Vito Fasella, who leads a group that says relaxing the vaccination policy policy for new arrivals from migrant children to speed their entry into the city's public schools is a risky move, a dangerous double standard and something that he, his, some of his constituents and other politicians fear could put other New York City public school students at risk when it comes to their health. They're going to get 30 days leeway before they have to either get vaccinated or show proof that they already were. That's not fair. That's not equal protection of the laws. And, in addition and it is just 30 days leeway, the Department of Education points out, not unprecedented according to its policies, although most students uh, beginning a new school year in the New York City public school system do have to show proof of vaccination, or at least proof that the vaccination process has begun for them. This is part of a policy designed to help new arrivals, asylum seekers, migrants integrate into society here in New York City to get adult migrants into the workforce and children into the city's public schools.